So it's goodbye Yukio Hatayama. His nine-month tenure as Japan's prime minister is over. Able to stand no more public criticism over funding scandals and his failure to remove U.S. troops from Okinawa. The country is now rudderless. And our reporter Mike Fern is live in Tokyo with the latest insight. Mike. Mariam, it was all smiles and thumbs up to the cameras last night. Uh, today, almost in tears, Yukio Hatayama announcing his resignation in front of officials of his Democratic Party. And he says that the party's secretary general, Ichiro Ozawa, will also step down. Hatayama under growing pressure from the party after his popularity dropped to an all-time low with voters. They're angry he broke election promises. He said last week a U.S. military base would stay on Okinawa. In August, the DPJ won a landslide victory, promising to to move it off the island and on Sunday one of the three parties in the ruling coalition quit the government to protest the move. My attempts to strengthen Japan's alliance with the United States caused the Social Democratic Party to leave the coalition and put the government in a difficult situation. I must take responsibility for that. Okay, so Mike, what happens now? Who are the possible successors to Hatayama? Uh, well, uh, frontrunner Naoto Kan, uh, a couple of other people such as uh, Sengoku uh, being mentioned. The, the, the DPJ will hold an election on Friday for a leader of the party. Whoever becomes leader automatically becomes prime minister. They're going to have a tough job, though. They have to rebuild the party's unity and also voter support. We've got upper house elections due in just over a month. The most likely obvious candidate is... Uh, Naoto Khan because he is next in line. He's a finance minister. He's uh, emerged as something of a uh, fiscal conservative. He is very much policy oriented. And of course, very importantly, he also has the, uh, 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 he, he, would, he would have the support of uh, uh, Ichiro Ozawa. While Ozawa is no longer secretary general, the party's co-founder still has huge influence. He quit as leader last year after a campaign funding scandal. Now, the Democratic Party swept to power last August, ending 50 years of one-party rule. They picked Hatayama to lead them, bringing in the Social Democrats and the People's New Party. By the end of the year, he was involved in a scandal, misreporting millions of dollars of donations. Less than a year in the job, he's resigned. Mariam. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, Mike Fern in Tokyo brings us up to date with developments there.